Leo, congratulations. From the touchline, it looked like you were trying to manage possession, put pressure on them, wait, wait for them to make mistakes, especially in the first half. Was that the plan from the outset? Um, it was difficult to play into the wind in the first half, so trying to control the ball is, is really key. They have so many threats of what we've seen, so if you turn the ball over against them, they're dangerous. You know, even you see Colby at the end, and a couple of times during the game, like he's so electric, and they have so much pace and that stepping ability and players that are so comfortable in unstructured plays. So for us trying to manage possession, we're we can you know take the legs a little bit from them as well they've obviously a lot of very very big heavy forwards and um, so trying to manage possession um, we got chopped and hit pretty hard a few times in the first half but I think it's sort of told at the start of the second half um, and obviously the conditions for them playing out is a lot more difficult so they're having to play out and we're able to put the ball in behind them a couple of times and manage field position a little bit better so um, and take some scores when they came along so you yeah, know we're delighted to get a win and it looked like in the second half you started turning down options for points and kicking to the corner, going for that bonus point. Was that a conscious decision at a certain point? Uh, the players had that feel for it in the game. So, yeah, we, we, we went to the corner a couple of times in the first half, some difficult kicks, obviously kicking into the wind. Um, to lose, I thought, managed that quite well. Where <laughs> there was, you know, we, we, we'd get a penalty and then they'd, they'd shut it down quite quickly. Um, so it was difficult to play from the advantage. Um, but the second half, we were a bit better now when you took some of the chances when they came along. And, you know, obviously very pleasing to get a bonus point win. Good. Um, some heads up rugby from Jemison taking a quick tap and putting Adam in away at the end. So, um, yeah, no, delighted to get a win, delighted to get a bonus point as well. And obviously, we mentioned the strength and depth. A lot of young boys out there today showing that they can step up to this level must be very pleasing to see. Uh, yeah, no, it's something we're very conscious of that we've worked very hard on. So, um, it was a big step for a lot of our younger guys today. Um, tough team to play against, a team that are in a lot of forms. So, um, yeah, no, pleased with the group. Um, we may have a couple of guys come back into consideration this week as we turn our attention to Wasps. And, um, you know, Rico is a, is a tough venue, as we found out ourselves a number of years ago. Um, so, yeah, just important that we rest up now and try and prepare as well as possible. Well, back in control. Well done. Thank you, Leah. Yeah, Leo Cullen and Leinster knew that a win was crucial, but that bonus point could make all the difference, Gordon. Yeah, I suppose one of the, one of the terms we keep coming back to is uh, fine margins. Um, so that bonus point, not that it gives um, breathing space to Leinster, but they are firmly in control of their own destiny. If they go to, they go to the Rico, they get a win, they qualify top of the group. They've, they've, they've done, they can control it. What they don't want to be doing is relying on relying on results elsewhere. Toulouse are going to have Bath at home. Bath are not, you know, what what kind of team they're going to send down there? We don't know. And Toulouse are going to uh, be playing at home and going to be able to. Will be we would expect a a quality performance from Toulouse next week. So this is I think anybody other guys will be the same. Anytime you're playing in the in the Champions Cup, you want to control your own destiny. You want to be playing. You want to be going and going for a win. And that's exactly what they've they've uh, they've earned the right to do. Yeah, Toulouse knew that coming to the RDS was always going to be a tough task. So let's hear the thoughts of Regis Song. Reggie, first, um, first half, 118 tackles. It's going to take its toll, especially against a side like Leinster. Yeah, we had a very good uh, moment in defence with, I think, of more 40 fuzzies, and uh, we won that, uh, that moment. But, yeah, it was great. But uh, in the first half, we had the, the wind, you know, and we didn't score a lot, and 10-6. Uh, First half, and after yet it was difficult the second half, and we want to play. But the Leinster defense was was very very good today, and we didn't play like we want. So well done, Leinster. We, we lost against the, the best team today and the best team of uh, Europe, and they show today that uh, the very good team. A win at home next week, though, and you are in, a, in the quarter final as well. So a lot still to play for. Yeah, sure, and uh, we have to win next week against Bath and. Uh, that's it, and we'll see. You know, and we took the, this uh, this season the European Cup uh, like a new experience for us, and today we learn a lot. Well, best of luck for that one. Thank, Thank you. you, David. Very briefly, what does this mean for Leinster today? It's huge. They're back in control. I mean, um, you know, I know they would have probably talked about this in the, since the Toulouse game, where it was out of their control to a certain degree after that that loss. But now, um, you know, they're going to push hard for that. Uh, you know, they want a home quarterfinal, home semi-final. That's what all teams want, and I think they're they're back in the mix now for that. And and they've kind of um, maybe brushed aside. Uh, the learnings that they had, or they learned from that, that first game and used it now and kind of got rid of those demons and now they're on to the next round and, and they'll be very much, I think, a lot of confidence that and face forward now to the next round. Yeah, and the next round is coming up pretty quickly because this time next week we will be at Tomond Park 
Munster against Exeter Chiefs, the big tackle from 10.30. Match coverage from five past five. But Leinster do what they've been doing for such a long time now. They continue on. It's a very happy Dublin today. Bye-bye.